Oh, look, I was so young and beautiful. How's it going fellow Photofast? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. If you remember from my 500 subscribers giveaway, I promised a photo transfer for the winner, which happened to be Michelle, who is also my new Patreon. You'll notice that I put her name along with my other patrons at the end of every video. So a photo transfer in layman's terms is pretty much transferring the ink of a regular print onto another service. So the basis I have today is this plank of wood. It's actually a regular color wood like this, some kind of plywood, but then I painted it white. And I really like it because it also has this kind of texture, these streaks in the background, so all the light parts of the picture will have this kind of light texture underneath. This is a piece of recycled paper and I just drew a white square with it, also with acryl paint, because the lighter the background, the better the picture will look. So this wooden one is for my mom because she's visiting and she's leaving in a couple of days and I want to quickly make it for her as a kind of souvenir. Okay, now the photos I printed are also pretty simple. I measured the exact dimensions of the wood and the paper and made the photos accordingly. So this is a, our little happy family picture that I made in 2016, I think. And this was Michelle's choice of my photo from Instagram. It's just like a little stream with a gleam of sunshine peeking over the top. Okay, so the first thing you obviously want to do is cut them out. Now I'm gonna cut this one out to be straight, but this one, since it's more experimental, I'm gonna rip the sides off to have that kind of rustic homemade rippy feel. I don't even know how to explain it. Here, look at this. There we go, all done. It's important to note that the surface that you're transferring onto should be as white as possible. Why? Because when you have a print, the white color is not a special type of ink. It's literally the absence of ink. So then all the dark parts are where there's most ink and the white parts are where there is no ink. So then when you transfer it on a surface, that part is gonna show the most through. So this white part is literally where you're just gonna see the entire background and all that texture and the black part is gonna be the remainders of the ink. So then you take the transfer medium and you can probably find it in your regular art store so what I'm gonna do is literally take some of this transfer medium and then spread it around as evenly as possible but you have to make sure that it's uh, it's as thick as possible like a good thick layer that looks like a good layer but I'm gonna add some more with a transfer it's always better to have more than less because those parts of the photo that weren't glued on properly they're just gonna come off and you're gonna have holes in your picture now I just flip it on backwards arrange it on here glue it on nice and firm so there are no air bubbles left they leave holes in the glue which means the paper the ink doesn't stick properly and then you're stuck with holes in your picture which is not cool that's fine this is a completed one it really looks nothing different than it was plain but the magic happens tomorrow so same thing here is just a bigger surface perfectly fit for this transfer made um and smudge and smudge in smudge. I really like these kind of customizable gifts and I think a lot of people enjoy them too because it means you put a lot of time into something and uh, that's very true in this case. Faces are really important so make sure you get a good layer on top of the face. Faces, faces, faces. Okay and we flip it. Man this thing is hard to handle. See the good thing is when it's wet you can still reposition it especially for straightening out all those air bubbles that might have gotten inside. Well, that's two transfers ready to dry, so see you guys in 24 hours. Boom! Amazing, isn't it? Just like it looked yesterday. Now comes the fun peeling part where we peel off all this top paper and see how it looks like transferred onto our surfaces. Okay, so now we literally take this water, just start rubbing it all over the place. It takes off the paper layer, leaving the, link, the ink underneath. I usually focus on the faces first, and I pay the most attention and careful detail to them so that they turn out nice. I don't know why I'm doing this upside down. I might as well flip it this way. It is good to let it dry a couple times so you can see if you really peeled the entire layer of paper off and only the ink is left or if it just appears like that because the layer of paper is wet. And some of these corners came off like here and here and here, which is okay. I like the effect this little, you know, effect it gives. Sometimes I even do it on purpose um, just to have that look. You know, what? I'm actually going to leave it to dry just so you can see uh, what happens. But I just realized that while we're waiting for this, I can start doing the recycled paper version. So this is the real challenge because I need to take off this layer with water, but I can't get it on this layer because I'm afraid the paper's gonna fall apart. And then of course I still have to figure out the shipping prices and everything, but I have to do that anyway because I want to introduce more Patreon levels. 
Well, I have managed to take off the surface layer without destroying the paper itself, which is mission success, which means if I continue with the second and third layer, it should still be fine. But just in case, I'm going to leave it to dry, especially because I got some of these bits wet. And we can come back to this one which has managed to dry meanwhile and you can see just how much paper there is left when whereas just a little bit before it seemed like it was uh, completely uncovered pretty much done with this other layer which might be the final layer but you also have to remember that when the paper is wet it's actually more transparent so when you put varnish on it which kind of preserves the wet look then uh, then it'll still be perfectly transparent, but you still want to get as much paper off as possible. Here, let me put this here just so that side doesn't look so empty. <laughs> I'm going to varnish it and that's going to get rid of this last barely visible layer of paper. Let's do that actually right now. This is transparent acrylic spray and we gonna spray it. 10 minutes and a lot of shaking later. Come on. Ugh. There we go. Now, the varnish does seem a bit opaque at this start. It has these little light spots, but uh, it'll be fine when it dries off. It's gonna be perfect. With this, it's gonna be a little bit different because I don't want the varnish to get on the paper part. I want this to look like the, the raw, legit thing. So I'm gonna have to cover this square and only put varnish on the photo part. And I'd really love if I could frame it or something, but then it's gonna become so heavy and shipping from here costs an arm and a leg and yeah, that would make it that much more difficult. So I hope the new owner, Michelle, uh, will, will frame it or something or put it on the wall. You know, I'm gonna be honest, I ripped a piece and I put this on the back, but this part should not be seen, so it'll be okay from here, it looks intact. It was a big rip that kind of goes down like this. Man, I'm gonna suffocate in this room tonight. Okay, that's good, now just leave it to dry and uh, see how it looks after that. Well, there you go, guys. We got the big transfer on wood from my mommy and we got the little transfer on recycled paper, which turned out looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. So uh, if you like this technique, give it a like. If, if you're interested in one of these, let me know. I'll make one for you and ship it to you at a price, of course. <laughs> well, of course, thank you for watching. And as always, you know it. I'm going to see you guys next week. Man, I have to clean up this mess. Thousands and thousands of rolls of paper. Where's my trash can?